Anyway, it is your girl, Unitedly Random. Um, and for those who don't know, I am called Unitedly Random because I like to come together and be random. And today we are taking the Ask Pie. Aspies quiz. I wanted to say Aspies, but it's also Ass Pie. So we're taking the Aspies quiz, and I'm gonna link it down below if you want to go ahead and take this quiz with me. Um, starting off, we're just gonna we're just gonna chat. I'm gonna be a little distracted. Maybe I could put the thing on the screen, but no, no. We'll talk it through. We'll talk it through as we go. But I'm going to take a test right after this intro. It was at this moment that he knew. Hey babies, it's your girl Unitedly Rana. I got some food on my clothes, you know it's me. Um, while I was taking this test, I actually started to think that I was scoring maybes when I should have been scoring of course or a yes. So in reality, my score would be a lot higher than it actually is. Um, so this video is like kind of like a rough draft of that test. Um, and uh, I edited a lot in the beginning, but towards the middle, like when I'm really doing the test, we're just taking the test, okay? I talk a little bit about my answers and why I chose that answer, but other than that, we're just taking the test then. Um, but I don't know if I say it in this video, but realistically, as who I am today, I will be considering myself a part of the autism spectrum. It just makes sense. It just makes sense. Um, if that's what you were watching this video for, to see like how I would place myself, I am on the spectrum. However, sorry, I started feeling a little stressed. Uh, however, um, I think this was a great opportunity to learn a lot more about myself. Like it's a couple months out from when I took that test the first time. And uh, I would say that all in all, I am a high functioning autistic uh, black girl. I have ADHD as well. And these things are kind of like working together to be the Aaliyah that you see on the screen right now. Um, if you're still interested in watching the video, yeah, watch the video, get to know me as a person a little bit more, but all in all, that's, that's this, and like maybe in the future, if it ever comes to that, I could get a diagnosis, diagnosis in the future, but really, it doesn't really matter if I get the di diagnosis or if I don't get the diagnosis. If I have a child that is autistic, it'll just be like, okay, yeah, it makes sense. Um, you know what I mean? I have a child with ADHD. I'm like, okay, it makes sense. It's not something that I feel like I need to go to a doctor to really get diagnosed with. I'm not in college anymore. There's no, there's nothing to help me. There's, I can understand myself more. And also in this whole entire autism spectrum, um, this environment, I think people are very welcoming. People aren't like, well, you didn't get diagnosed by a doctor in, evalu in, in evaluating or in, in, in evaluating, in, in evaluating, in evaluating. You know what I'm trying to say? They're not saying, oh yeah, you don't really have autistic, go kill yourself. They're not saying that. My self-diagnosis is enough in this space, and I'm happy to be a part of you guys. Okay, thank you. I rambled. Sorry. <laughs> yeah. Now, I know as an adult, like, who wants to take a test? But I think this is a great test to get to know the you that you are. So, starting off, I'm not going to sign up so they can collect my information over the years, but I'm going to let them know all of this information about me right now. So, for one and number one, uh, uh, your year of birth. Uh, I don't know why they would want my year of birth, but I assume that your age has something to do with... Uh, uh, your test results, okay? Um, also, my month of birth. I was born in August. I really don't get why you would want to know, like, the month. I don't know what that has to do with this. But anyway, the sex that you were signed at birth. I was a female born in America. Where's America? United States. 
of America and I am black. Am I black African or African American? What is that? What's the difference? My test results in the last video were kind of like borderline, but you know, we're borderline everything over here. Borderline insane. Attention deficit disorder. I have a professional diagnosis of that when I was young. OCD, no. Social phobia. I don't think I have too big of a social phobia to be like, I have social phobia. So no. Now, um, this questionnaire is not a substitution for professional evaluation. So uh, number one, would you become, would you quickly become impatient or irritated if you would not find a solution to a problem? Sometimes, this is especially when I was young. Oh my goodness, I did not like to not know something. It, it was very frustrating, especially because everyone kind of looked at me like, oh, Aaliyah, Aaliyah's dumb. But I was, I think I was smart. I wasn't dumb, just people saw me as dumb. Like, and it wasn't in like my score, my IQs are pretty high. So it's just, it was always different. Do you tend to play the same tune many times in a row? Yes, Stuart hates it. <laughs> like when the TikToks are playing over and over and over again, he hates it. For me, I can listen to the same thing over and over and over again. It's comforting, honestly. Do you prefer to only meet people you know one-on-one -on -one or in small group, familiar groups? A little. People I know a little. Has it been harder for you, for you than others to keep friends? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Do you feel like you have to be on your guard even with friends i don't really have friends but if i had friends yeah i'd have to be on guard do you like being in style no i don't like being in style i like to be random <laughs> no that's like that's honestly that's true that's true that's me okay i like to be around i am i when i look away does the color change on this? I'm sorry. It's automatically doing this thing, okay? I don't appreciate it, but it does. Um, do you realize hours later that somebody that hadn't blah, 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 showed interest in you and feel bad about the missed opportunity to connect? Like someone was interested in me and I was interested in them too and they we didn't connect? Would I feel bad? Oh, do I realize it later? Do I realize it later? Uh, a little, no. No, I'm gonna go zero, no. Do you prefer your own set of spiritual beliefs rather than following existent religions slash belief systems? Yes, because I feel like I, I do things right. <laughs> Are you often delighted by small things like the colors and soap bottles or five pointed star shape that appears when you cut an apple across the core? I like colors and soap bottles. I will say one, one is a little. I, I would like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Have you been accused of staring a little, a little, but I'm probably staring. Uh, are you bothered by tax or light touch? A little, a little. If it irritates my skin, like if someone touches me, like, mm, Stu, Stu used to, like, there was a period, especially during the pandemic, where Stu couldn't touch me or it would make me insanely angry. It wasn't that I hated him, it's just like, don't touch me. Like, sometimes I need that comfort, and other times I'm like, back up, back the fuck up. I need my space. Um, so complicated girly. Uh, do you experience stronger than normal attachments to certain people? Yes. And then I cut them out of my life to avoid the pain of them one day disappointing me deeply. Um, do you find it easier to understand or communicate with all of course, I like weirdos. Do you prefer to do things on your own, even if you could use others' help or expertise? Do I prefer to do things alone? No, but I have to because people, people suck. Do you dislike when people walk behind you? Yes, 100%. Do you tend to say things that are 
currently considered socially inappropriate when you're tired, frustrated, or when you act naturally. Yeah, yeah, I'm socially inappropriate all the time. Do you have, do you like to have small talks before getting into important topics in the conversation? No! Jump into that shit! How's your mother? She's dead? How did she die? You know, <laughs> I hate small talk. Let's get into it. I'm here for a long, no, short time, not a long time. I don't want to know how you feel about, well, I guess knowing how you feel about the weather could be a conversation into your mental psyche. But like, ugh. Is it hard to see why some things upset people? Is it hard for you to see why some things upset people so much? Yeah, I think certain things are dumb. I think people are emotional beings. <laughs> Is it difficult? Do you have difficulty accepting uh, criticism, correction, or direction? Sometimes it could be a little difficult. Sometimes. When I was young, when I was young, oh my goodness. Do you enjoy spinning in circles? was just dancing in uh, darkness uh so yes um do you have an avid per perseverance in gatherings or categorizing categorizing information on topics of interest uh i don't know do you cry about nothing no there's always a reason zero there's always a reason if there's an revolution, can you quickly return to what you were doing before? No, don't interrupt me. Do you have an obsessive attachment to inanimate objects? What do you mean by that? Do you mean do I like obsessively read like anime and stuff like that? Cause yeah. Or do I, what is something that is not real? that I have an attachment to. I don't know, but I guess sometimes, I'll give myself sometimes, cause I have a, a Bible that I have an attachment to, but it's because who gave it to me? Who gave it to me? My daddy gave me that, so. Uh, do you pace when you're thinking or anxious? No. No, no, no. You know, I hear some people, they will get up, like they're anxious and stuff, they will get up and go for a walk or something. Like if I'm pacing, like I never, maybe that would be a good way to let out the emotions, but no, I'm not a pacey girl. Mm -mm. Um, do people sometimes think you are smiling at the wrong occasion? I don't know. I'm not in their head. Did you feel lonely as a child? Hell yeah. 100%. Do you tend to get romantic feelings for people who persistently show interest in you? Yeah. 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 Oh my goodness. Go back to do you get obsessive with people like interactions and stuff like that? Yeah. Do you have a good sense of how much pressure to apply when doing things with your hands? Sometimes. <laughs> Are you still fascinated by many things that were, you were interested in when you were younger? Yeah, yeah. I like Twilight. I like anime. I like YouTube. I like songs, making songs. I don't really do it, but I like it. Uh, are your eyes extra sensitive to light or glare? Mm, no, no. Do you feel the urge to peel flakes off yourself and others? Blech. For others, but me? Yeah, hell yeah. Uh, did you have to keep an eye out to stop people from taking advantage of you? Mm, yeah, I have to be careful. Do you have unusual sexual preferences? I'm going to say yeah, but I, what you mean by that, Willis? What you mean? What kind of, what kind, what's unusual? Hear me, hear me out. Hear me out. Are we talking toes? Are we talking toes? Or are we talking bondage? Okay, I'm not going going into that any further, but there's questions. Do you get? Do you tend to get absorbed by your special interests and you forget and ignore everything else? Yes. Yes. 
As a teenager, were you unusually unaware of social rules and boundaries unless they were clearly spilled out? Yes. Do you tend to interpret things literally? No. 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 Are you good at teamwork? Mm, I don't know. Is your sense of humor fairly conventional? No. No, no, no. I like to make jokes out of my own trauma. Um, can things that might seem meaningless to others make sense to you? I guess so, yeah. Are you shy? Uh, a little. I'm a little shy. Which I'm tired. Okay, give me a moment. Give me a moment. Man to man. Woman to woman. This test has been going on for a while, but... You know, this is a good way to get to know me. You know, we're taking the Aspies test together. Let me know what you think down below about yourself or what do you think about my answers or what do you think about the questions or is there any questions that might come up that you want me to talk about in another video yeah do all of that but what I'm finna say is people always trying to tell me that I'm not shy and that that bothers me who are you to tell me if I'm shy or not they're like oh my gosh you're so outgoing you'll get along with people and blah 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 and it's like I'm not putting myself down when I say that. Really, I wouldn't get along with people. Like, I feel like in certain cases, I'm only tolerating certain people's lives on this world. Now, not on this world, but certain people in my life. I tolerate a lot, and I don't necessarily love as much as I could. You know, it's weird. Do you find yourself in ease in romantic situations? No. Will you abandon your friend if your activities or ideals clash? No. Do you enjoy big events even if they are crowded? No. Do you wring your hands or rub your hands together or twirl your fingers? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes. Do you practice what you want to say in conversation? That was me a lot when I was a child. Do you feel that you are a very special or unusual person? Of course. I'm a star. Can you easily remember verbal instructions? I don't know. Do you find faults with opinions that you don't share? Do you usually find faults with opinions that you don't share? Sometimes. Sometimes. I mean, it's because I have such a good opinion. And, like, when people don't have my opinion, I do question them. Like... So, it's not my fault. <laughs> like, if I believe that it doesn't matter if a boy wears a dress, you know, you can let your son wear a dress if he wants to. You know, you do like, gotta let him know, like, oh yeah, you know, people might bully you, but if he wants to wear his dress, let him wear his dress. And then a man comes back up and he's like, no son of mine's gonna be gay. Yeah, I find fault. I find fault with how you view the world. I find fault, you know? Something wrong with how you view your child. They're not yours. They're their own people. Let them be their own. You know, I have certain beliefs. Uh, do you have a fascination for slowly flowing water? Mm, I could get one. I'll say sometimes. Water can be interesting. Uh, make me sweat. Make me... Oh, 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 oh. Make me lose my breath. Make me smart. I don't know. I was going to say smarter. Do you tend to look at a lot at people you like and little to not at people you dislike? I don't know. Do you enjoy to travel? Mm, sometimes. Do you dislike being hugged when you haven't asked for it? Mm, sometimes. Do you have difficulty describing summarizing things? For example, events, conversations, or something you've read. Mm, sometimes. Do you rock back and forth or side to side to comfort or calm yourself when excited or overstimulated? Mm, I have. In a conversation, you tend to focus on your own thoughts rather than what the listener might be thinking. I don't know. Do you accept criticism, correlation, or direction? Yeah, sometimes. Do you like... To follow or walk behind people you are attached to. I'd rather walk behind. I feel like too big to be walking next to people. I feel like I don't, like I get paranoid walking next to people. I don't walk fast enough. I'm too big. I, I don't know. I, like it's weird when someone's standing next to you and you're talking to them. It's, oh my goodness. 
This makes me a little anxious. When you're listening to music, can you get so caught up in it that you don't notice anything else? Sometimes. Uh, if you like to protect people you're attached to, even when they don't ask for it. Yeah, if I like you, I want to protect you. I want you to... Blah, blah, blah. Is your sense of... These are the same questions. Your sense of humor, different from mainstream, or considered odd. I think it's odd. Uh, spend hours overthinking or reenacting negative social uh, interactions. Yes. Do you feel that if you're being persecuted in some way? Yes. I feel like, oh my goodness, blah, blah, blah. Do you have problems with timing in conversations? Sometimes, sometimes. Do you worry your friends don't really like you? I don't have friends, but if I did have friends, I would worry that they didn't like me. <laughs> Do you find it easy to keep up with the group discussions when everyone is speaking? No! We're zero. No! Stop talking. Do you fail to understand pop culture or being in style or why people jump into the latest trend? Yeah, I don't understand that. Just be yourself. Uh, have you or did you used to have any imaginary relationships? Imaginary relationships with whom? I don't know. Uh, is it difficult to pass on messages correctly? No, nah, I don't know. I'll say no. I'll say no. Do you see your own activities as more important than other people's? Yes, I am God. <laughs> not really God, but I am more important than other people. <laughs> Have you sensed that somebody was around you even when you couldn't see anybody? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, do you expect other people to know your thoughts, experiences, and opinions without having you having to tell them? No, not at all. You gotta tell people shit. Do you enjoy traditional dating? I don't know. Do you need to pre prepare yourself mentally before going somewhere? I don't know if you know this, but I have a Spider-Man right here. And he says, I'm ready for it. And I think that if I try to prepare myself mentally before I start going places, things will go a lot easier. But, you know, I haven't. But I think that uh, I should start doing it. But I'm going to say, I don't know right now. Do you find it difficult to take notes in lectures? Yes. Yes. Do you tend to wander off on the topic when having to go? Yes. Do you tend to shut down or have a meltdown when stressed or overwhelmed? Sometimes, especially when I was young. Do you like tongue kissing? No. <laughs> I have braces now, so. <laughs> do you need to do things yourself in order to remember them? I would say sometimes. Do you feel irritated when one person disagrees with what everyone else in the group believes no you have your opinion um do you bite your tongue cheek blah, 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 when you're anxious or nervous i don't know do you have the urge to jump over things no do you instinctively become frightened by the sound of a motorbike no why would i do you notice odors that other people don't see? No. Fuck yeah. Do you notice patterns in things all the time? Fuck yeah. Do you have trouble reading clocks? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say sometimes, but like, I'm talking about like the circle clock. Yeah. I, I feel, I, you know. <laughs> Do you prefer to learn the character of a potential romantic partner through observation rather than conversation? A little bit, sometimes. Do you tend to express your feelings in ways that might baffle others? I think it baffles others because they're dumb, but sometimes. Do you dislike it when people stamp their feet on the floor? No, I don't care. Do you find it easy to estimate the age of people? Sometimes. Do you examine the hair of people you like a lot? Oh my goodness. I had a boyfriend in high school. Big fro. He wasn't my boyfriend in high school, but he had a big fro and I liked him, so I would always play in his hair. But, um, mm, I'm gonna go with I don't know. Do you have difficulties judging distance, heights, depths, or speed? Oh my goodness, have others told you you had an odd posture or gant? Gate. Gate. Gat? G-A-I-T. No. Are you asexual? Maybe. <laughs> I would say sometimes. Can you be 
asexual sometimes. I really do think, like, I do have, like, hypersexual moments, but then I just have long periods of time where it's just, like, nothing. Nothing's happening down there. I'm chilling. Um, do you have a good sense of time? No. Is it important for you to find unique niches where you can acquire unique competence? No. Oh, wait. Did I do that wrong? Are you asexual? Sometimes. Do you have a good sense of time? No. That should be zero. Okay. Uh, do you, Oh, what if I did all of this test wrong? Ah, it's too late now. Do you have one special talent that you've emphasized or worked on? Mm, nah, sometimes, I don't know. Are you good at interpreting facial expressions? Sometimes. Do you find it difficult to engage in a topic of no interest to you, even if it's important? Yes. Fuck that topic. Do you have problems filling out forms? Sometimes. I'm kind of struggling right now. Do you find it natural to wave or say hi when me big? Like, hi! Hello! Yeah, yeah, that's natural when you meet someone. Have you been talked into having sex even if you really didn't want to? Yeah. Are you sensitive to changes in the humidity or air pressure? I'm gonna say no. Do you get confused by several verbal instructions at the same time? Yeah, why the fuck are you telling me multiple things at the same time? I mean, what do you mean? One person or two people telling me? This is confusing! Question mark. Do you instinctively know when it's your turn to speak when talking on the phone? Sometimes? Like, are we just being quiet for no reason? I don't talk on the phone that often. Mm, do you feel really think about the so you don't have to figure it out again? I'm gonna question mark that one. Do you have the urge to observe? Oh, fuck yeah. Observe the humans. Observe the animals. Just observe everything. People are interesting. Um, do you avoid talking because you can't reliably predict how others will react, especially strangers? I would be more quiet in those situations. Do others often misunderstand you? Yeah, but they're in, they're putting what they think of me onto me, and that's not me, okay? <laughs> do you tap your ears or press your eyes? Huh? Do you tap your ears or press your eyes when thinking? Mm, no. Do you have problems finding your way to new places? Sometimes. Yeah, you gotta leave a little. Do you have extra sensitive hearing? A little. Do you find it easy to describe your feelings? Yeah. Do you recognize a lot of people? Like, oh, that's my homie. That's Godzilla. Like, if I see people, I say sometimes. Do you find it hard to tell the age of people? Not really. Do you need motivation? A lot of motivation to do things. Fuck yeah. Where's my motivation? I can be your motivation Asian. Ooh, we only have like three more. Do you naturally approach someone you have romantic interests for? How natural are we talking? No, I just be like, hey, shawty, I want you. I like you. And I'm going to have you. Um, in conversations, do you need extra time to carefully think out your reply? So there may be a pause before you answer. No, I don't think about things before I say it. Not even here. I really don't think about things before I say it. I think that's a waste of time. Just be yourself. Um, do you dislike it when people drop by to visit you uninvited? Oh, uh, maybe a little. No one ever comes by to visit me, though, so, yeah. Lonely, I am so lonely. The results are on my computer. Shall I look? Ooh. Thank you for filling out this questionnaire. Your score is 123. I love that for us. 123. A whole new world. Uh, out of, uh, 200, so, um, uh, there's a 92 probability of being atypical, aka autistic or neurodivergent, okay? Um, so, we already knew, we already knew, but, there's that, we knew, but yeah, I'm neurodivergent, we knew this. Um, my perception is pretty high for 
uh, typical people. My conversation skills are low. My relationship is low. My social is pretty. My people skills. I'm very... I have atypical relationship. I have atypical talent. I don't know what this means. I don't understand my Aspie's quiz. They said my high score is related to autism spectrum conditions and obsessive compulsive disorder. Where's my ADHD? Oh, okay, 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 okay. Let me see, let me see. It's talking about it, it's talking about it. Okay, let me go back up. It's, it's deep, it's deep, okay, okay. It's very deep. So it goes, number one, my atypical talent, okay? I'm above other, above the average, okay? Now the average is, uh, you know, I'm definitely above average. A high score, because I'm above average, indicates, you know, autism spectrum and obsessive disorder okay that's fine that's fine uh, and then next next we go on to talk about my typical talent so this is talking about intellectually related typical traits uh, often used as disabilities we're talking about verbal communication learning by invitation motivation switching tasks planning staying focused and blah 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 um, so uh, a low score to this is talking about dyslexia, dyscalculia, or other diagnosis like ADHD. And I am below average with that. Uh, and then next we're talking about my atypical perception, okay? My atypical perception, um, but I'm average with my perception, okay? very average with my perception and that's talking about um the hyper sensitivity to touch sound smell taste strong lights you know that type of thing right um and continuing on my typical perceptions um i'm average but this is talking about uh being able to judge time distance death blah 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 faces you know that type of thing I'm average, okay? Nothing special there. Uh, atypical uh, communication, I'm average. Very average right there. Okay, a, we continue on. We talk about uh, typical communication, though, is below average here. So atypical communication is saying that a high, high score is, you know, a high score is autistic. Or like stimming and stuff like that. You know, if you blink, roll your eyes, clench your fists, you know, stims. Um, I'm pretty average when it comes to stimming, but I'm not average when it comes to communication, which they're both talking about communication. Um, so there is something there. Uh, atypical uh, relationships. My atypical relationships is above average. A high score for this is talking about uh, attachment disorders, which also I have trauma and I do have issues with attachment. I think they used to be worse when I was younger, but now I just cut everyone out of my life. So can't have attachment issues if you have no one to attach to. What am I gonna eat today? Um, and then when we go down and we're looking at typical relationships, I am definitely below um, below average with typical relationships. This is like finding a partner, dating, courtship, and sexual intimacy. M my, uh, my, I'm below average. So I'm, I'm, I'm more likely to have intimacy problems. Huh. Huh. going through a divorce so <laughs> makes sense continuing on a typical social I'm average when it comes to that and that's kind of talking about authority arguing and revenge I'm pretty average maybe I don't want a lot of revenge I'm just chilling and then typical special social is also a little average too uh, a lot of people are having issues with I guess uh socializing or exchanging information i guess that's also has a lot to do with the world nowadays so all in all that is my results um definitely neurotypical but 
you know, it is what it is, you know, I'm still me, you're still you, and thank you for watching another super long video from Unitedly Random. Babies, wow, I can't believe you're still here. Make sure you like the subscri subscribe button, you like the video, you subscribe if you haven't already, and let's have a conversation down below. Uh, again, I don't think there's anything wrong with where I am. We already knew that I was atypical, but I thought it was just interesting to just see the results of this. Last week, or a couple days ago, I did a video where I was just like, oh yeah, this motivated me to do this. But then I saw the Aspies test. I wanted to do it all in one video, but I felt like it would take too long. So this is why this is a separate video. Um, but anyway, much love and positive vibes. And I hope to see you guys again next time. If you feel open and you want to be vulnerable, make a video of you doing this. And I will definitely check it out. Um, let me know. Just be like, I made the video and I'll go to your channel and watch it. Because I think that this is very interesting information to know about my friends. <laughs> Not to use against you, but just have information to have. Um, but anyway, I don't say it bye-bye too many times, so this means I actually have to go now. Bye-bye! Oh, my thumbnail. It's kind of dark in the background. It'd be like that sometimes.